everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today I'm going to show you how to use the snapshot feature. So we're looking at Kim Jones's profile and the idea of the snapshot is that you get a quick glance at what you possibly are treating uh, Kim Jones for or anything that you want to track about Kim Jones. So in this case, we can see that she has left side low back pain, right wrist pain, headaches, um, she's had an injury, she's on some sort of medication and surgery. So to expose uh, those comments, we just click on show comments and we can see that she had the hockey injury and she's on Tylenol and she's had knee surgery and these are the comments that she has put in or that we have we have added to this section. So you get a quick look at uh, Kim Jones. And there's a number of ways to add to this area. So we can add by just clicking the plus button and if I wanted to add a condition, so for example, maybe she's complaining of plantar fasciitis and maybe the comment is just very painful and then we can save it and it adds that plantar fasciitis. The other, the other nice feature about uh, snapshots is you can also take a look at the history of when uh, these uh, items have been added. So if I click on for example, left side low back pain, I can see that I added uh, this um, to the history uh, on this date and I can update the status at any time as well. So if I needed to update the comments in constant ache and, and maybe it's not a constant ache, but it's back to very painful, I can save that. And when I go back to the very painful, I can take a look at that has been updated from a constant ache to very painful. I can also update the status and I can mark it resolved if I need to and I can just mark it resolved and I'll save that. And now the item has been marked resolved. So any items that have been marked resolved, I can click on show resolved items and it'll have a little check mark and you can see all the items historically that have been resolved. Within a, within a section, this section for conditions as well, you can also take a look at the history within the section. And it'll just show you anything that's been marked resolved, any comments that have been updated, and it gives all the dates and who that who made the update to that comment. And so from this section, you can also add um, a new snapshot or new item to the snapshot. So those are the features. So we have uh, the history and we can have the add button. And within here, by clicking on them, you can also see the history of each of the snapshots. So if I mark these two off, you have a more collapse view of what you're looking at. That's that's the one way that you could add to the snapshot. There's another way is through the review forms. The concept is someone has completed um, an intake form for an example and you want to move some of those items over to the snapshot. Some of the things that you may or may not be treating. So let's open up the review forms and we can see that we have three forms possibly to review and I have something called a short form. There's a drop down here and I can see that there's another other type of form that she has also filled out. And I can also uh, scroll through the different things that she has put or the different answers uh, from those forms. So let's go back and I can show the comments as well. But let's go back to the short form and I'll show some of the features here. So it uh, was completed on April the 9th. There's a preview, so if you want to see the whole form, you can preview this. If you want to see the comments, I just click on show comments, and I can see that she's complaining of chest pain and abdomen pain. So with the chest pain, that's something I might be treating at the time in the abdomen, I might be treating at a later date. So with the chest pain, I'm gonna move it directly to the snapshot, and it moves the chest pain directly to the snapshot. In the abdomen, I'm gonna I'm just going to hold it and I'm going to review, I'm going to pin it to review for later. So I'm going to pin this item, the abdomen, and I can see that I have three pinned responses. So the idea is that I'm not going to be treating or I'm not going to be dealing with the abdomen today, but I might deal with it at a later, uh, a later date. And so I'm just going to pin it and I'm going to hold that. And so this form has basically been reviewed. So if I want to take a look at my pinned responses. And so I have a left wrist and abdomen and medication and I can open any of these up. And so the abdomen is something I said we're going to look at a later date. Maybe I'm, I'm going to treat the left wrist today. And so I'm going to add that to the snapshot. It'll give some context of it's in the condition uh, section. It's left wrist. Um, it's categories area complaint and it was a sprain. So I'm going to I'm satisfied with um, the way um, it's been formatted and the comments. And so I'm going to move it to the, over to the snapshot as well. 
So now I've updated the snapshot area from the some type of form that she's filled out and and so now I'm satisfied with this area and again I can expose the comments if I just want to see the comments or anything that's been resolved. So that's the snapshot area and that's the concept of snapshots. So let's move over to the clinical notes and how it interacts with the clinical notes. So I'll open up a draft note that's already been started. And it loads the page with this information section and this snapshot section. And so these are the things that we had already seen previously in the snapshot. So um, I can hide this section if I needed to hide it. I can hide the snapshot section or I can also pop open the form section. And so the form section are those forms, um, sorry, they're up here. So the form section are those two forms, the clinic intake and the short form that we had seen on the previous page. And I can review these at any time. And so if I don't want to use the snapshot section, for example, I only want to review forms and I don't want to move anything to the snapshot, you can do that as well. So for example, if I open the clinic intake form and maybe I move to ones that have a bit more comments on, and I'll show the comment. So I can scroll down my page here, and if I have enough um, width in my uh, page, if I'm using a desktop, for example, I can then look at the left side of the neck, and I can transfer any of this information, for example, into the subjective. So maybe I'm gonna start asking some questions of the left side of the neck, and I know it's a burning pain, and so I can look at this uh, list as I am interviewing the patient or the client and get that information down. So it allows you the flexibility because the slide up comes out and it allows you the flexibility of having the list right, right beside you and asking the information or further clarification of these items. So it can be used in isolation. So the sna snapshots can be used in isolation um, or in a combination of with a clinical note. So you have a, a lot of flexibility of moving information around from one section to another. So that's the, the basic concept of snapshots and how it interacts uh, with the notes. Um, and at any time I can go back to the notes and um, uh, back to the snapshot section. And so anything that you're doing uh, within the clinical note is gonna be reflective also in the snapshot. Okay, so that's the, the basic concept of snapshots and how it uh, works within Notero.